Hi everybody, I'm Irene Thompson with Stampin' Addicts. Today I'm going to show you how to make these cute little bags. I was um, inspired by Rhonda and then there was another bag that I saw that was similar to this um, that you put tea bags in. But it's really tiny and I don't know, Rhonda Wade does bigger bags and she does, she has this whole thing going um, called um, Stop Paper Hoarding. So here's my little to her Stop Paper Hoarding. Um, the stamp I'm using is actually from a paper pumpkin. It's um, just for you. It's such a sweet stamp. And uh, this paper pumpkin was from March of 2016. So, and that's the cutest little stamp. It's perfect for this. Um, these bags do come apart. So we have a base and then we have a top. So they are two pieces but they're so easy, so easy. The base of it um, is the size that uh, Rhonda does for the, the cardstock. It's a half sheet of cardstock. It's, um, it's six by 12. So this is a half a sheet of cardstock. And then the top is four by 12. So it's super cute. Her, she likes to put like little ribbon in and give it away or stuff like that. And this original, I think it was, I saw it on um, Pinterest. I think it was for tea bags, but I'm not a tea drinker and I like the larger size. So this is what I've come up with. Um, so I am using the, I am using the, the needle nook. A needle point nook and then I have some poppy parade ribbon so the one I will do we'll do this one I just got done making some cards um, this we'll just use those same colors they're just so pretty this one is a gift tag tar uh, tag card. It's made out of tags. I have one of those tag punches, so that's a tag punch card. And then I did one on a circle punch. And then this is the circle punch card that I did. So we'll just use the same paper since we are trying not to hoard paper. And we know we can all hoard it because it's just so gorgeous. So this is Needlepoint Nook. This one is the Poppy Parade on the bottom. This is, um, um, what is it? Is that one fresh big? Nope, this one is Berry Burst. And this one is Cajun Craze. Oh, oh my gosh, now I'm losing my mind. It is not Cajun Craze. It is Crushed Curry. So, um, you can pretty much find anything anywhere to use this with so we will make this one right here and is what I did is I took a 12 by 12 sheet of paper and cut it down to 6 by 12 and then this is a 12 by 12 sheet that I cut down from 12 to 4 and I'm gonna score these pretty much exactly the same way So the bottom piece is scored at one and a half. So if you don't have a scoreboard, you can use your you can use your um, you can use this too because we know it's got a score on it too. So you can always use that. Okay, so my first one was at one and a half, so I did that along the long side, the length of it. Now I'm going to score one and a half. Then I'm going to go to score five and a half. Then seven. Then eleven. So that's my scoring. 
one and a half, five and a half, seven, eleven. And I'm going to do the exact same thing with this top piece. I'm going to do one and a half, five and a half, seven, and eleven. And make sure when you're scoring, don't push too hard because this is much thinner paper than your cardstock. So I am going to cut the small piece off because we don't really need that. And then I'm going to fold these. Okay, and then I'm going to snip from the bottom up to the one and a half. So I'm going to cut there. Should be making three cuts because I cut this last piece off because we don't really need it. I use tear tape. So I'm going to put two pieces of tear tape right here on the edge. I'm going to put one here. One there, and then I'm going to, whoa, and then I'm going to put one on the bottom also. I want it to be nice and secure because, you know, you give it away and people like to share things with other people too, so they might give it away and... It all works for me. Please share. Some bags are just so cute. You gotta, you, you wanna share them with other people, so. And these are so cute. I mean, you can get three tops out of one sheet and then two out of one for this, so. All right, now I've folded it and I've done my creases, okay. Now this last piece that I scored at one and a half should fit perfect right on here, so I'm gonna tear my tape off I don't I love making bags I just love it it's one of my favorite things to do besides making cards so you see all of our creases are nice now we're gonna do the bottom but I want to we're gonna fold in the flaps and then we're gonna put it right over it but I want to snip this here. I just want to snip it a little bit, give it a better edge. We'll do that. And then I'm going to take the tape off, or at least the backing of the double-sided tear tape. So I'm going to put that down and then the top flap goes right on it. And there we go. There's our, the bottom part of the box. And then we kind of just squish it in like this because we're going to be putting the other one right on top. And I mean, look, there is plenty of room to put stuff in here. There's my card. Card will even fit. So maybe the next one I make will be big enough to put six cards in and use it as for putting cards. Okay, so we're going to fold here. I like making those little card purses too to put cards in. Okay, so this should have the same effect as the other one. We're going to put the tape on the short end. And we're going to pull it, and of course, we've creased it, done all of our folding. So when we set this down, it should set right on top of it, just like this one did, if we scored properly. Backside just doesn't want to come off. All right. There we go. All right. So I'm just laying it and I'm going to flip it right on top of it. So there we go. There's our top piece. And then I'm just going to crease it. 
sometimes this corner you got to work with a little bit. Could probably cut the sheet down just a little bit so it does better, but that's basically how it works. And it'll set right on top, slides right down. Then I'm going to punch two holes up here and put a bow, put ribbon. Let's see, let's do this one. We'll do the poppy parade. I'm just kind of eyeballing it. I'm going to put two. One here, one there. And we'll just run it through and just make a knot. If you want to make a bow, make a bow, whatever works for you. But this is cute. I mean, you can give it to anybody. You can make it with any paper. I mean, you could do it for Father's Day, birthdays, anything. Put something cute in it. I just saw these, um, these little, um, oh my gosh, what is it? I, I don't know what it was, a commercial or something. Maybe it was on Facebook. They had this little device that you set your, it's for guys, for fishing. You put your screw, your uh, hook in it, and then you close it, and then you thread your hook. And you don't have to worry about uh, getting cut or anything from the hook or making sure you get it right, and it's all secure. Something like that, little gifts like that would be perfect in these little bags. All right, and then I have on the bottom here, I took a two-inch punch and um, stamped. So where's my two inch punch? I already have a sheet that I used. Where'd it go? Oh, here it is. I actually took and scored down this edge. This is a two and a half inch, and I scored so it's easier to fold on the bottom. And I scored it at a half inch. And so the score line is already there, so it'll fit right there for you. So it's just something I kind of pre-did. And this is from that paper pumpkin. It's a cute one. This one's got um, happy, happy, hooray grad. So this is all for the graduation. See, I'm a, I'm a paper pumpkin hoarder too which I recently started making um, scrapbook pages for Paper Pumpkin with my Paper Pumpkin. So I do those two. All right, and I'm just centering it and I'm using the Poppy Parade. And there it is. And we'll just tape that on and put in it whatever you want to. That is, I like that just for you. I was looking all over the place for a just for you and then I decided to stroll through my paper pumpkin and there it was. The one I was looking for. And then I'm just centering it and putting it on. And then, you know, kind of crease it because it's like a lunch bag. And there it is. How cute. Super simple. And uh, I'll put the measurements down for you for the top and the bottom on this. They're super cute. I mean, you can use any paper and, and that's just adorable. And I got to use some of my paper pumpkin. And I'm working on my paper hoarding. Not to be paper hoarding. So, Thanks guys, have a great day. Again, I use the, the needle nook. The needle point nook paper. Um, it is in the occasions catalog and it is um, gonna be going away. So if it's something you wanna order, I suggest you do it before um, April, uh, or wait, I'm sorry, June. 
do it by June 3rd. So you guys have an awesome day. Thanks for watching. I hope I inspired you. I would love to see some of your guys' little bags. I just love them. I love little bags. There's just so much you can do with paper. I mean, look at this. So much you can do with paper. And that's from a punch. So thanks, guys. Have an awesome day. And um, subscribe. It's free. And if you're looking for a demonstrator, let me know. PM me because I'd love to grow. So thanks. Have a great day. Bye.